Okay, so we're going to have a look at testing two milk samples, sample A and sample B for um, antibiotics. Now the test kit that we're going to use is the Delvo Test SPNT. It's mini, 25 ampules are in it. Now, the great thing about this is that you could do this at home on your own farm if you weren't too sure whether there was antibiotics in your milk or not. When you open up the test kit, you'll have ampules such as this. So they're purple in color. And I've broke off two ampules and I'm gonna put them here. And also you'll have little pipettes for uh, pipetting your sample of milk into your um, ampules. I also have a marker. So I'm just gonna mark uh, my uh, ampules A and B. Now, in each of these ampules, there is um, basic nutrient, bromocresyl purple and assay organism Bacillus stermothermophilus. So like if you were, um, had a, an infection in your throat and you took an antibiotic, then it will kill the bacteria. Okay, so there's a bacteria growing in this and when we put it into the, um, the heating block here, it should grow. However, if there's an antibiotic present in this, this sample of milk, then it will stop the bacteria from growing. And it all comes down to a color. So if the color is yellow, that means the bacteria had a chance to grow, and then there's no antibiotics. If the sample remains purple in color, that means there was an antibiotic present because the bacteria did not get a chance to grow. Now, the sensitivity of the, um, the uh, the test for the particular antibiotics is listed in your in your um, in your practical manual, which is available on Blackboard. Okay, so I'm just going to take sample A. I give it a little shake there, and I've pulled back the foil on both those samples there. And I'm going to take sample A, and I'm going to have my little uh, pipette. Squeeze the top of it, suck it up like that, and enter it into the. Um, the uh, tube. Sample B. Now I'm going to use a different pipette for that because we don't want any cross-contamination. Again, I'm just going to lift a sample of that, place it into our ampule as such, close over the lid, and we're going to put it on the heating block. Now it does take um, about three hours for the uh, bacteria to grow. You can see the heating block there, it's at 65 degrees. We'll cover it over and we'll put them in here. Now, two samples I had previously prepared. You can see we have sample A and sample B. So ample, sample A has remained purple and sample B has turned a yellow color. Okay, so um, I'll put together a worksheet and you can have a, a look to see which one of these is positive and which one of these is negative for antibiotics.